Hmm. Ain't gonna work. I'm trying. Hey Patrick, what's up man? Hopefully Streamlabs will let me work. Do I sound good, Patrick? Hey Odin! Hopefully I sound okay. I'm trying to come through Streamlabs. I'm hoping it's working okay. It seems like I got a pretty strong uh, connection. Hopefully it's working. Good, good, good. I'm glad it sounds good and looks good. I'm gonna. Hey, News Canal Canook, you sexy beast, you. What's up, man? How you been? Well, Odin, I guess you got a sexy ass, uh, got a sexy ass ass. Yeah. <laughs> no, Patrick, Patrick, don't worry. Hey, Steve, how are you, bro? Uh, no, Patrick, I understood where you were coming from, man, and uh, it's all good. It's all good. I'm live streaming through uh, Streamlabs into YouTube. Yeah, long time no see. Good, good, Steve, bro. I'm going to ask y'all, I'm just curious, I mean, I'm going to bring up a topic that most of y'all probably don't even like, because I know most of y'all don't like talking about uh, I know most of y'all don't like talking about uh, big government, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit here because what uh, uh, what Trump said the other day when he did his address to the United States, that's scary, especially now that the Ohio governor's already pa trying to pass laws to take our first to take their, in Ohio, to take their first, second, fourth, and fifth amendments away. Um, you know, their, their rights away to those amendments. They're, they're trying to pass laws now. Um, and, uh, um, and, uh, uh, and then Trump also said some stuff where he wants to pass gun laws and he wants to make it to where mental health can be all, all a cop has to deserve to do is uh, th say that you're 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 not mentally competent, and they can take you straight to a, a mental health facility without without no say so. Um, you know, and the Ohio governor's already trying to pass laws that are. Uh, um, Yeah, uh, I, I I will never pass. I will never vote for Trump. I am not voting for him. There's no way. Um. Uh, he he. That stuff is straight up. They want to take every right we have away, and um, and I want to make. I I I know I'm probably preaching to the. I'm probably preaching to the choir by talking to the people on here, you know. Uh, but uh. But when it comes to my gun rights and it comes to everything else, uh, uh, my freedom of speech, my freedom to ha to keep quiet if I want to be quiet until I see a lawyer, whatever, you know. Well, I tell you what, Skyhawk, the Native Americans didn't think it would happen either. And guess what they did to uh, the Native Americans back in the day, you know. Yeah, I agree, uh, Patrick, and, um, yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess, Steve, <laughs> I don't know, 
Hey again, hon. I, I, how are you? I hope things are good for you too. But I, I, I hope people watch this stream. You know, um, it gets posted, whatever, and they and they watch it. Uh, no, they want to. They they want to turn uh, right now uh, with the way Trump was talking. They want to turn it into Nazi Germany because. He wants to give the rights to the cops to be able to say, hey, you're not mentally fit, so I'm going to forcefully take you to a mental health hospital, and if they determine you to be a, um, if they determine you to be a traitor against the United States, he's fast laning it to where you get, you get executed, period, end of statement. So, that, that's Nazi Germany again. That's straight up Nazi Germany. And they did it to the Native Americans. Uh, they'll do it to us right here, right here, right now, guys. I'm, I'm telling you, don't think it won't happen. You know, a lot of Native Americans didn't think it would happen. And guess what? It happened back in the day. And they did, they did a lot of the same thing. They, uh... They made a certain part of the, they took a certain part of the Native American population that were uh, a little bit maybe well they were fighting for the rights you know too you know uh, uh, they were they were fighting fighting for their rights and then they made them into monsters. Well, guess what? We're next. We're fighting for our rights and they're going to make us into monsters. So, don't think they won't do it. They did it to Native Americans. They'll do it to, they'll do it to people today. And I, I just wanted to get that out there, you know. This is stuff you need to look into and watch what's happening. In Ohio right now, uh, Skyhawk, by the way, uh, they're about to pass laws to take your, four, your first, second, fourth, and fifth amendments away right now. They're, they're in the process of getting them past right now in Ohio. You should watch the uh, governor's uh, uh, address uh, from Ohio. You'll see something that'll scare the bejesus out of you if you live in Ohio. So... I'm just glad Streamlabs is actually working. Yes, I agree, Patrick, on that. Uh, most of the traders in the United States are in government offices, yes. I know, Jen, and, and well, if, oh, if, if you look, if one state is able to pass a law, you know, most of them go right along along with them, passing the law, passing the law. Let's look at the law for abortion. Um, every, every, every uh, it took one state to pass an abortion law, and then every state jumped on the bandwagon and passed abortion laws. Uh, let's look at the no smoking in restaurants. Uh, California passed no smoking in restaurants, and guess what? Every state went right along after them. Boom, 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 boom. You know. All it takes is one state to pass these laws and get away with it, and guess what? Hey, I was I was there when that SWAT went down. Uh, I uh, if Steve was able to set that SWAT up, and uh, and. He was more surprised. He was just as surprised as anybody in the chat that that shit went down. I'll tell you that now. He was like, uh, 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 you know, just, uh, you know, he was surprised as hell. I seen it. I watched it. Uh, I don't, I don't think there was no setup there, Odin. I really don't. I was watching that. E either that or Steve's one of the, is a much better fucking actor than I can, I thought he was. Ever <laughs> one of the two guys, uh, because you you should go back. He's got he's got it. Um, uh, 
uh, uh, you, 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 he's got it uh, on his channel to where you can watch it, uh, and all. Yeah, I know, it makes no sense to me, Steve. It makes no sense. They should make more laws to where people that own guns have the right to defend against people that are doing stupid shit with the guns. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's the way I look at it. Don't take them away. Make it to where these people can uh 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 make it to where these people can have a chance to defend against it. Uh, yeah, Patrick, uh, uh, Patrick, uh, California passes the most restrictive laws and everybody follows them. You ain't kidding. That's what I was saying. California is the number one leader in passing laws and every state pa uh, going boom, boom, boom right behind them. Well, I have to admit, Steve did practice what he preached. He didn't get overly excited and everything. I still have a little bit of a problem with them practicing procedure and not law. But but that, that's the only place where we differ a little bit on that, Steve. And it's not worth arguing about. You know, my opinion, your opinion, you know. We, we're going to see something different there. Well, you might have more of a chance for the laws to not affect you there in Idaho than, um, uh, that, that was all, see, that's what I was trying to get in your stream to you. I didn't like the idea of them cuffing you without even knowing what was going on. That, 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 that that's the only problem I had with it. Besides that. I don't have a problem with anything you did. That's it, Patrick. We'll be at the FEMA camps. You're right. It'll be another Nazi Germany. He proved what he was in one fell swoop. Like Steve said, in 10 minutes, he proved it. That, that was the scariest thing. I... I you know, I voted for Trump this last time because of the his stance on guns. You know, he didn't want to take them out of people's hands. Now he's talking. He wants everybody to be disarmed. You know, that that's scary to me. All right, Steve, come on, don't, don't stoop, stoop down that low, you know, I know you're better than that, Steve, come on, I know, I, I know, I know, I know he's pissing you off, but I know you're better than that, bro, I know you're better than that, I'm not getting on you, Steve, I know, I don't care what you say in my stream, you all know that, but I, I just know you're a better person than that, Steve, don't let him get under your skin like that. Okay, okay, good, good. I thought you were letting him get under your skin. I'm like, don't let him get under your skin. Okay, good, good. <laughs> That's the bad thing about reading messages. You don't get the you don't get the feeling behind what's being said. <laughs> what's up, buddy?
Eh, me and Odin's disagreed on a lot of things too, but I still love Odin. He's a good, he, he's a good guy in his own way. <laughs> I, I have talked with Odin on the phone before and everything else. I like Odin. He, we, me and Odin has had to agree to disagree on many things, haven't we, Odin? <laughs> By the way, um, when and if I do get my... Uh, live stream up and going uh um uh i got a neat interaction uh with the cops uh i literally was with some friends and we got pulled over for transporting uh, transporting hogs okay uh they have what they call an agricultural check station right and, uh, and if you look, there's absolutely, truly no law stating that they had the right, I've looked this up and looked this up and looked this up. They have no right to, to do what they did. Invoice? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm going through Sky, uh, Sky Labs, and Sky Labs sometimes works for me, and sometimes don't. Skyhawk, uh, so we'll we'll see what happens there. Uh, right now, I think the only reason is it's working real decent for me is uh, that I'm fairly close to the Wi-Fi right now, you um, know. All. all right, Jen. When, when you going to join Tammy and Boomer and Voice, Tammy? Uh, uh, I'm not sure about that. Um, I'm not sure about that. Uh, um, I'm not sure about that, Odin. <laughs> uh. Oh, good, Sky Skyhawk. I'm glad about that. But like, if I go up to like, uh, let's say I go up to um, to Hitchcock's or Hardy's in town, I can't do this. I can't. I can't do it at all. Uh, so. I'm just hoping this gets out and people can. Uh, see what's going on you know i uh, i understand these two tragedies in el paso and dayton ohio they were tragedies but if you look what is it in the last 20 uh, let's take the last 10 years um how many people have actually gone stupid with guns versus the number of guns we have Go answer it. That's why I handed it to you. You know. So, um, I'm hoping this gets out because I don't want I don't want people to let two bad, really bad happenings. Um, Allow the, allow the government to take our rights away. Right, right, Patrick, you're right. Well, yeah, uh, you're right. They, they have been trying to divide us badly uh, for the last, since Clinton. They've been trying to pay, uh, they've been trying to divide us badly. Hey, AKA uh, Twin Mommy. See, I'm a guy. 
I told you I'm a guy on your on your live stream and all. <laughs> I'm an ugly guy on top of it. <laughs> hmm. I agree, Sky. I hope it's just talk. Um, oh, yay. Hi, just, uh, hi, thing two. Hugs back. <laughs> I tried to... That Tammy is still just a little jaded. I know who that Tammy was uh, from Gen T. Hello, Pernilla Nelson. How are you? You know, uh, just a little jaded. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, a lot of people don't even know the meaning of jaded. That that that's cool. I'm glad you use that uh, use that uh, name. It's a word that was almost lost. Please don't okay last message. What? Odin, you just want to try to start every and start poop with everybody, ain't you? <laughs> Today. <laughs> uh. Oh, don't worry, uh, big, big, I, I, I just realized you said big, big there, it doesn't, <laughs> yeah, I understand, I do the same thing a lot of times in chats too. <laughs> Damn, <Jaden. laughs> I tried getting going in Discord. It won't let me ever talk on anything. So all I can do is type. So I, I, I even uninstalled it, reinstalled it and everything. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Thank you. You make me laugh, girl. Uh, I have missed y'all. You know that, right? Y'all have been good people to me. And I have missed y'all. I got... Hey, there was something cool that happened to me. Uh, um... <laughs> the great hack okay ak i'll probably do that uh next week then uh when my friend gets their netflix sounds interesting but i did have something cool happen to me i got given one of them trikes you know them the them bikes with the three wheels bicycles with the uh with the three wheels and um i'm gonna put a mo i'm gonna get a motor for it and i'm gonna get a motor for my regular bike and i'm gonna have two modes of transportation Woo! <laughs> So I, I'm happy about that. Um, I, I can't wait to get that. I'm gonna try try to uh, once I get one of the motors on one of the bike, uh, either one of the bikes, I'm gonna try to do some traveling maybe. 
So I'm uh, uh I'm hoping I can get that done. Take the trike out, you know, take the trike and do some traveling with it. Uh and uh I can carry a lot of stuff with it. Oh, I hate I hated when my wisdom teeth were giving me problem thing too. I really do. Uh, them, them are the worst. I hope they take care of it for you, girl. I know that's painful. Uh. Aww. That sucks, AK. Yes, they do, Steve. You ain't kidding. I, I was never so glad to get my teeth pulled when I got them pulled. Oh, my gosh. Teeth, teeth, tooth pain is just, will make you stupid. Any tooth. But wisdom teeth are the worst. Yeah, <laughs> Patrick, you're right. Ooh. I tell you what, it's going to probably rain here today. If it don't, it, it's missing a good bet. The humidity's up and it is hot right now. Oh my God, it's miserable hot out here. This has been a miserable summer even down here in Florida, so I could just imagine how you people up north that ain't used to the heat are taking it. But AK, uh, I, I, I tell you what, AK, uh, Twin Mommy, you, I like your live streams, girl, and, uh, you seem pretty cool. I was glad I I'm glad I subbed to you. You know, I I I've enjoyed your uh, uh, live streams a lot. If y'all ain't if y'all ain't uh, subbed to AK uh, Twin Mommy, there y'all should sub to her. She's a good person and and fun to listen to and has good talks. So, uh, I was very glad I uh, I subbed to AK Twin Mommy. Uh, she was a great person. Yeah, see that that's one thing I like about you, AK. You don't judge anybody, and you talk about just about everything. It, it, you're it, just like I do. Jen does. Steve does. I Steve I like because he he'll pick a topic and. A lot of times, like Steve Bender, there, he, he he'll pick a he'll he'll pick a topic, and it may be a very controversial topic. I mean, a, one of the most controversial topics out there, and he'll pick it and talk about it, you know. And he gives great he gives great points of view. So, Right, Skyhawk, you're right. You're right, Skyhawk. Oh, good, Patrick. Good, 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 good. Yeah, see, yeah, I, 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 yeah, you do. And, and and what I like about you also, Steve, is like with me, we can still be friends. Even though we don't see eye to eye on some things, we can still be friends and be respectful to each other. You know, and that that's really cool. The same with me and Odin. We have not seen eye to eye on certain things, and uh, but we still try to be friends. You know, uh, we're still friends and all. You know, and uh, so I I I I like I like that. You know, because you 
you're you're respectful of my opinion, you know. Right, right uh, thing too. You're right. Um, uh, Two hundred people were killed in the car accidents over car accidents over the weekend. You go give up your car next. Yeah, I know. Right, right, AK. Uh, if we did, if we all agreed on everything, uh, damn, it would be the most boring world in the world. <laughs> you know, it'd be so boring. You know, you wouldn't be able to ha handle it if we all agreed. Yeah, I know, Steve. Uh, um, and they're supposed to have the strictest gun control laws of any city in the in the United States. So. 40 people were shot and killed in Chicago. You know, there you go. Well, Patrick, there's times that we also need to talk, uh, talk and get our differences settled. If not, it's just going to fester and get worse and keep getting worse. You know, and and I understand that um, we we all have to get our differences fixed, you know. If if, if it's to that point, you know, and, and then then if you all can't agree, just agree to disagree and move on, you know. And that's it. Yeah, I know, Steve. Uh, um, uh, Chicago has more killings in it than almost any other city in the United States due to guns. And they got some of the strictest gun control laws in the world. Not, not just the United States, in the world. Some of the most restrictive in the world, if you ask me. You know. hey, you're right. Their laws mean absolutely nothing. People get People get guns and still go out and shoot and kill people. You can't, you ain't, get, it ain't going to stop. I mean, look, let's take one group we've had problems with and we've been having problems with, ISIS. ISIS was able to get guns even though they weren't supposed to be able to get guns. What the fuck, you know? If you want guns, you're going to get them. Period, end of statement, if they're outlawed or not. Yes, it is okay to disagree, AK. It really is. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, a little jaded, you're right. But, you know, here's one of the problems I've seen in a lot of cities. They've taken away any recreation for young people. All the, like, we used to have roller skating rinks, the, the uh, bowling alleys, things like that. And all this stuff, because they can't afford to stay open, is gone now in a lot of cities. What, you know, so they don't even have no way to enjoy themselves and get out and enjoy themselves in a fun, relaxed setting with their peers, you know. So it's... It, we need to make it to where, we need to make it to where they have something to do, period, you know. Right, Steve, there you go. I agree. And you get, and Chicago is the most restrictive uh, uh, city in the world. Go figure.
I agree, Patrick. We need our jobs back. You're right. Oh, congratulations, Skyhawk, and I, I hope you enjoy your grandchild, bro. Enjoy it. Yes, AK, you're right. We do. Well, well, you can't parent a kid anymore at all. I mean... I watched a lady who barely tapped her son on the hand. Her son kept trying to take a candy bar off the shelf. And, told, and she told her son no. And he kept grabbing it and kept grabbing it. And she kept putting it back kept putting it back. And guess what? She barely tapped her son on the hand and said, Don't be, t don't be grabbing that no more. And the, the lady behind the counter called 911 on her. And had the child service people come and meet her at the store because she was trying to be a parent and teach her kid not to take things when he's not supposed to take things. You know, I mean, it's gotten to the point you can't do nothing with your kids. You know, stick them in a corner. You know, you know what I did when I was in a corner? They did that to me at school. Stuck me in a corner. I played tiddly winks and twiddled my thumbs. I didn't learn nothing in class. I didn't. I didn't learn nothing to about. Hey, I ain't supposed to do that because hey, that just gave me a break from all the bullcrap. I'll do that again. You know. You know. You know. It ain't sticking a kid in a corner and giving them time out. Don't help. I'm sorry. It don't help. At least it didn't for me. I agree, Steve. AK, you know, um, you know, I know a lot of people that have went to homeschooling their kids a lot because they don't want them in a they don't want them in a, um, in a public school no more. A lot of them, you know. Uh, they don't even, you know, uh, and one of the reasons is, is they quit teaching about things that we preach about, the Constitution. They quit teaching the uh, Constitution in school. They quit teaching why we went and had a Revolutionary War and all this. And, um, and uh, you know, they used to teach us all that, you know, um, and they taught us the truth, at least when I went to school, where I went to school at, they taught us the truth about why the Civil War started, and it wasn't over slaves. Uh, it was over uh, states' rights and taxation without representation. You know, by uh, you know that's what started the Civil War, not slaves. Uh, as a matter of fact, I hate to tell them that there there were several prominent Yankees that had slaves. You know, uh, so they, they need to get over it, all that. Uh, um, and so. You know, um, but that's what they teach now in school. It was all about slavery. It was all about slavery. It ain't. And these people want their kids to learn the right way, not this bullcrap stuff that are that's been being taught in school. And heck, all the stuff that ain't being taught in school, for that matter. You know, it's a uh, um, it's been uh, interesting. Yeah, I know, Steve. And they figured that if they t quit teaching cursive, they won't be able to be read. And they'll think it's in a lost language. That's it, Steve. You're right. Yep, you're right, Steve. Yeah, I know that's what I was talking about. They quit teaching about the Constitution. They keep t they quit teaching about why we had a revolutionary war to save our right to get our rights as a citizen of the you know and all that you know. Uh, and they're trying to teach and then you see 
okay, we're going to take this right away from you, this right away from you, this right away from you, and they don't even know that's what the United States was founded on, you know. It's like, you know, was the rights that we have. Yep, you're right, Patrick. It was about the 80s. It started shifting. Right, Steve, you're right. You're right on that, Steve. It's insane what... And, you know, they've been doing that for years and years. And people ain't learning from the mistakes that were made. You know, um... Yeah. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do, Steve. You're right. You're right. That's if they teach it in school. Like down here, they've totally quit teaching about the Constitution, period. There's nothing taught about the Constitution here. Um, I asked, I've asked, i asked several kids if they even knew what their First Amendment was or their Second Amendment was. Any of their amendments. Just tell me one of the amendments. And I even had several kids ask me, what is the Constitution? They didn't even know about amendments, much less amendments. They didn't even know there was such thing as a constitution because they ain't being taught it in school here. That's scary. That is very, very scary to me. Yep, and they're going to be doing it all the time. I think it was planned, actually, Patrick. Honestly, I really do. It's just the start of destroying our our rights. And now, now the president's even talking about taking our rights away. He's wanting to censor the. He's wanting to censor the uh, um, internet even more than it is now. He's wanting to. Uh, and if he don't like what you, if they don't like what you got to say, they can throw you in a mental health health facility just because they didn't like what you say, and they think you're mentally unstable and mentally unfit. And then they can deem you as a traitor of the United States, and guess what? You get to go die in a in a federal penitentiary within a month. You don't even get a chance to speak your side. You only get a month, and you're dead. You know. And I've been every everything I've seen on Trump and everything I've seen on these people. I've been putting in little statements, you know. I, I've been putting my own statement in. Hey, these people are using a bad situation to take your rights away. You need to wake up. You need to wake up. So, I'll probably be one of the first ones that they come after for a mental health. You're not mentally stable if they get this stuff passed. Wow. You're right, AK. Uh, um, it is. And I have to admit, when I was younger, 
until I actually opened my eyes. When I was younger, when I was 15, 16 years old, I was like, oh, this is what the news said, and it's the gospel. And then I opened my eyes, and I'm like, and what got me was, I was listening to this one news story. Uh, I forget what it was all about now. And then all of a sudden, they changed their whole view on it. You know, I'm like, hold on. They just said this, and now they're saying this about the same news story just five months later. Um, hello. And that's when I found out there is one thing Trump's saying. The, uh, the news is mostly fake. A lot of it's fake. And if it ain't fake, it's only partially presented. Okay? And they really put their own little opinions and swings to the news now. You know, it's insane what they're doing. You're right, Patrick. You're right. I agree with you. And P you're right on that too, AK. If you, I agree with you. And we need to wake up. We need to wake up. Or we're going to be in Nazi Germany right here in the United States. And I hate to tell people that. And that's exactly where we're heading. If they get what they want right now, we're heading right to Nazi Germany right here in the United States. Well, you know, I've noticed another thing. Uh, they also tried to evilize uh, some of these shootings as, oh, it's white terrorism. You know, I, I, I've seen that on, on um, CBS News and ABC News. They're both labeling it as, as this is white terrorism. Okay, Uh you know, that, that's another thing that's scaring the bejesus out of me, you know. And it's like, really, uh, someone goes out and shoots people. So if a black guy goes out and shoots a, black, a bunch of white people, ain't, wouldn't that be black terrorism? You know, uh, no. That was a guy that was, uh, he was racially profiled and he was treated in a racist manner. And let's forgive him. You know, that's what's going on right now. And it, it, that type of stuff is really scary. What we need is a president... From the normal people. Really we do. Um, a normal Joe Blow. Right off the farm. Or something you know. You're right AK. You're right. Divided we fall. United we stand. And. Um, that's a. You know. That is the truest statement. Divide, divide and conquer. You know. Uh, uh, they divide us. We we fall. We will fall if we're divided. Period. End of statement. Um, you know. Right, Patrick. Yep. And they're trying to get, and giving the cops the ability to just say, we don't think you're mentally fit. Uh-uh. That's scary. That's some scary shit. Because you can't, our First Amendment, right, our First Amendment movement will be done. Because as soon as we talk out, just say, hey, you know, what I, let's say, let's take Steve's, uh, Steve's matter that he had, you know. 
he said I didn't think it was. Uh, he said something to the effect, "I didn't like the idea of you coming on my property with guns." You know, he said that. He said it very calmly, but you know, if the cops, with what they're wanting, if the cops deem that to be, say, say, oh, he didn't like us with guns, so, so he's not mentally fit. They can take him right to a fucking facility and say he's not mentally fit and put him in there. For an indefinite amount of time. That's what Trump said he wanted to have happen. You know, that's scary. Well, if, they, if this don't pull us together, then we're stupid. Really. You know, because they're... they're unless you just want to... Be an ass, kick, ass kisser. That's the only way you're going to be able to survive in the United States if they get what they want. And it scares me. And I feel sorry for the next generation after me. But I'm going to do what I can to at least make it good for them while, as long as I can. And right now, that's the only way I know how to do it and talk about it and let people know, you know, this is what's going on. And, uh, you're right, Patrick, you're right. And they've been doing it. And like I said, they just labeled all these, these two attacks, just labeled them as white, white, uh, terrorism. Uh, all right, guys, I hate to cut this short, but I got to go. Uh, my friend just showed up, and I need to go do some work. So I will talk to you all later, hopefully later on this afternoon. And you all have a great day. I'm out, guys. Bye. You talked to him for a long time, though. No, I didn't.